Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited about this coming out of Babylon weekend uh, because these are some of the people you're going to meet that saved my life, that brought me back from with uh, the VA spending $100,000 basically in testing and all that. They could do nothing more for me than to give me pain medication to kill the pain, but these are the people that saved my life and started putting me on the right track, and so this, these are the people that I want you to be very intimately familiar with. Ladies and gentlemen, the health watchman, Paul Nissan, and from Hallelujah Acres, Scott Laird. Gentlemen, welcome to Shabbat Night Live. I'm, uh, I'm going to start, uh, start with Paul uh, tonight, uh, the health watchman. Uh, you're known around the world. You also have Torah Life Ministries where you're, you're teaching the Torah and in its relationship, especially to health, because uh, you, you came from a, a desperate place yourself to uh, finally recover and now lead other people. Tell us a little bit about where we're going to go this weekend, Paul. Well, basically, I'm known as the health watchman. And the Bible says watchmen are supposed to warn people when something is about to happen that they don't know about. And if we don't tell them, their blood is on our hands. But if we do tell them, then, hey, that's up to them. But I don't stop there. I'm going to go and teach everyone exactly what to do also how to, to deal with what's about to happen. And also, not only am I teaching this weekend about the true scriptures, what they really say about health, because many people misunderstand things. For example, I don't care how many times you pray over something that's not healthy, it's not going to make it healthy. It, you know, that's people right. don't understand these things. They look at these It's scriptures. sanctified by the word of God in prayer. You've got to find out what's sanctified exactly, by the word first. Exactly. If it's an abomination, it was never meant to be in our bodies. But these people got it backwards. They think, oh, it's not what comes into our body, it's what goes out. No, that's not what the scriptures say. And this weekend, we're going to be defining food because what's in our grocery stores is not food. It's killing us. It's destroying an entire nation. Well, my generation is the first generation to die before their parents. My mother takes care of me when I'm sick. She's 78 years old. She's healthier than I am because of Babylon. So, Paul, we're going to... Uh, one of the things you're going to be doing is you're going to be preparing the raw food meals for the next two days. Uh, the next three days, I'm going to be making the next three days. That's uh, right. The raw food meals, and I am telling you, if if it is just, you want to talk about energy. I mean, this food's going to give you energy, and everyone wants to lose weight, right? I mean, this food's you're going to make you lose weight because it's it's healthy food, the way we were designed to eat, the foods we were designed to eat, and. At the worst case, if somebody doesn't like it, they're not going to eat it, so they're going to lose weight. So either way, they're losing weight. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, uh, Scott, Scott is uh, uh, with us from Hallelujah Acres. Uh, we've been reading Scott's work. Uh, he is uh, the editor of the magazine, uh, the website work. When people come up to Hallelujah Acres for their, uh, for their weekends, for the trainings, uh, Scott is the one that leads them through. Uh, he's well on his way for his uh, ND, naturopathic doctor. In, in just a few months from now, Scott, it's good to have you with us for the weekend. It's good to be here. I'm excited about this. To get all of these different talents on one place is really awesome because you're going to see all kinds of different facets of health and everybody's going to have a similar message and you're going to walk away saying you know what it wasn't just one guy saying this this makes a lot of sense and, and you really with your uh, relationship through the years with hallelujah acres um, you've uh, uh, you, you've seen a lot of fads come and go and, and and what you're going to be presenting is really a lifestyle it is, and uh, to, be, to be very practical, what I've done is I actually took the camera, and you'll see on the PowerPoint that I actually show you what I did one morning to show how our family does it. And it's really quite that simple, and you'll see that it's not that hard to do. And people think, oh, raw foods, and it's all complicated, I need all these different gadgets and all that. It's actually very, very simple, as you were saying earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll tell you, to get prepared for this one, uh, uh, let's see, it's been over four weeks. I had one meal. As a matter of fact, that wasn't even cooked, but I've been uh, just uh, doing fruit. It's been raw for well over a month and nothing. I've had an espresso. I had uh, one espresso a week for the last four weeks, okay? But uh, what I have here is not even that. This is, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're going to learn what is better for you and tastes better once you kick the addictions. Because we are addicted to Babylon, ladies and gentlemen, and we are going to learn how to kick the addictions, and we are going to come out on top. So, gentlemen, thanks for being with us. I am excited about having you here with us, and it's going to be a great time. 